Don't judge me. 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 Please don't judge me. Okay? Don't judge me. All right, here we go. Do you ever like somebody and you want to be in their lives or you want to, you know, get to know them more, but they won't give you the time of day? And then all of a sudden, life grants you that wish, but you have to, you know, experience your time with them as a little cute puppy dog. But bam, then you get what you want. You get to look up her skirt all day long. You get to take baths with her. You get to cuddle with her at night. You get to lick her feet and her wounds and her sweat all over her sweaty body. You fucking freak. There are certain manga stories where I pick up and I'm like, okay, this is the weirdest plot I've read in a long time. But for some reason, I just can't put it down. And week by week when the new chapter comes out, I keep reading it more and I start realizing that maybe I have a problem. And this series is no exception. My life as Inukai's dog is a raunchy, cute, uh, very interesting title to be picked up. And with only 10 chapters out, there may not be enough chapters to work with, but the pages are there. There's a lot of good content for you to work with. By content for you to work with, I mean Jack. So the story goes is that the main character is now a dog. Now we don't know if he died, he got reincarnated, or this is some sort of witch voodoo, or you never know, you know, like, like the pigeon off of Mike Tyson Mysteries. You deserve to be turned into a pigeon by your wife because you're disgusting. Ex-wife, and you don't know anything about relationships, you little homeschooled weirdo. Now, the main character is a dog in the middle of the streets, not knowing what's going on, but the girl that he likes is picking him up, saying, hey, you're going to be my pet for now on. And taking him home and, you know, talking to her mom about keeping him. The main character is very confused on what the hell is going on. And then she proceeds to take a bath with him. And he's like, whoa, 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 what's going on here? Why am I taking a bath with you? I can't look at you naked. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. What's going on here? And then, bam, there's a mirror right there. And he finds out that he's a little pup bear. This good old boy. Taking a bath and now realizes the situation where he is now the dog of the girl he likes. Now, at this point, we're immediately shown the uh, uniqueness of this manga, what makes this more of an eye catch other than the storyline, and that is the perspective. Normally in manga, you see the perspectives of the boy and the girl, and there's a third eyed view on that. But from here, a majority of these shots, if not all of them, actually, I think all the shots are actually from the dog's perspective. Yeah, the whole entire manga is shot from the dog's first view. This leads to the more edgy aspect of it because you're able to look up and see a bunch of upskirts panty shots and all that stuff. I never knew there was a fetish for being inside a girl's shirt and looking up at her through her breast and through her bra and through her to her face, but I guess that's a thing now, and I just want that to happen to me now. And from here on, we're given the dynamic of what a chapter entices, the perspective of the dog trying to get back home or trying to figure out how to escape and, you know, be a human again, but also dealing with the fact of, like, maybe he doesn't want to be a human again. He's really enjoying his life as Inu Inukai's dog or Karen's dog. All around having fun, cute antics with each other, and, you know, a little bit of saucy number. Yeah, this is, a, this, is a, this is an etchy series saucy number manga. Dakota, how and possibly why is the dog manga a etchy series? <laughs> you wait. There are cute moments in this series and, you know, nice ones. Like, you know, the moment where uh, she's trying to communicate with the dog more, so she dresses up like a little dog, but it's like a, a sexy outfit. And then she's barking and meowing and her mom keeps walking in and then she's like, oh, I'm just doing push-ups, mom. No need to worry. Just doing push-ups. And then her smug little face, she's like, I, I fooled them, Poochie. I fooled them. And it's like, no, you didn't. But when it gets into its etchier aspects, it gets into its etchier aspects. And it's not just average etchy, no. They take full advantage of the fact that this man is a dog. Like, oh no, Poochie ties, you know, wagging his tail while they're taking a bath near a little area down there. And, you know, it's making her tingle. Or, oh no, my nose got stuck in your panties and I can't get out because you fell over and I fell over on top of you. And now I just am sniffing away and I'm trying to get out. Or, hey, let's play the Pocky game, but with a dog bone. Or, hey, there's this scene. I don't know how to say it. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Um... There's a dog tail blowjob. There's a dog, there's a dog tail blowjob. She takes the tail, takes the blowjob. I don't know if I'm allowed to show it on YouTube, but there it is right there. Go to patreon.com slash cut to support this channel. <laughs> this video is not getting monetized. It looks so bad. It looks so, but why? Why is it? Oh, it's a butt there. It's a little ass little thing. It is. Moving on. 
And through this, we start to see kind of how messed up Karen is as a character because not only is she so obsessive with this dog and does all the things she does with this dog, she can be a lot more yandere about the protection of the dog, who's touching the dog, who is with the dog. Um, and although this is very scary and yandere, there still is this cute aspect to her. Well, she's not completely hateable in yandere. She's very cute and, you know, broken and really wants to take care of Poochie. Like, there is this scene where... Uh, one of the, her friends came over and got hurt and Poochie was licking the wound and she immediately had this yandere face uh, and decides to literally stub her pinky toe on the corner of a door and then go, look Poochie, I'm hurt too, you should come lick my wound and... Ow. Speaking of saucy bits, there's a scene where the, the senpai is Kohei, the, uh, the friend of uh, the main character before he turned into a dog as the kid went missing, goes over to his house and, you know, waters his plants and talks to his mom and hangs out for a little bit and uh, takes Table Coon and, you know, rubs her girl against the edge of Table Coon and makes really good friends with it with her pants are down and it, there's a lot of water and uh, we get to see all of it from the bird's eye view of Poochie. Look, I have dogs. I got dogs, right? And I can't... I can't look at them the same. They don't, they know what I've been reading. They, they've been in here, they saw what I was reading, uh, and they just don't, they don't make eye contact with me, they don't want to look at me, and it's just, it, it's just a whole mess right now, and I really just don't, I, I, <laughs> it's a lot, it's a lot, the series is a lot at some points. And you can kind of see of how bad it gets, you can kind of see, like, you know, why I keep reading it. It might be my messed up personality at this point of reading so many bad things, but I can't grow myself to hate it. Obviously, the main point of this uh, manga is to see edgy shots from a girl's view, but also we move into now, which is the how far can you push a edgy series with a dog and the aspects of a dog. I mean, I thought Dog and Scissors was, you know, getting pushed to the limit there for a second, and actually, does anybody remember that series? My old, my old... I like that series. But what do you guys think? Would you ever pick up this manga series as a whole and would you actually read it? And if you do, come back and let me know a, a few words what you guys think about the series. Have you ever heard of the series? What, what, what do you think? Is it too much? Is it too much? Do I, do I need to be stopped? Do I need to be stopped? Please remember to like this video and if you do uh, are new here and uh, you are okay with me talking about series like this, please leave a subscription and notification bell. That way you can get notified when I upload uh, more, more series like this. A big shout out to my Patreon over at patreon.com slash kudabroski to Pie Chicken Eater, Reptile Reptile, Sis, Douglas Whitaker, Lee Watts, Payne Patchett, Colin F. Von Garner, Zero Infinities, and everybody else for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it and take it easy guys and I love you. Bye bye.